Hi guys and welcome to another episode with me here and healthy living with me, Paul. Now, the topic that I'm going to talk about today is one of the most sensitive ones. We're going to be talking about money and more importantly, costs, cost of living. Now, it doesn't matter how much money you make. If you're spending more than you're making, you're an idiot. Well, okay, I wouldn't say, that. I wouldn't say you're an idiot. If it's absolutely necessary, of course, that's, a point, that's something you have to do. You, you have no choice. However, if you are getting caught by all the trappings of a society and what people say that you need to buy to make yourself successful, then you're an idiot. Because <laughs> those that don't think critically basically end up broke. Now, I live in Dubai, but I've met so many expats that actually end up broke after living here 15, 20 years and have nothing to show for them actually coming to Dubai. And one of the reasons we actually come to Dubai is to actually make money and save money. Now, I'm one of the exceptions. I didn't come to Dubai to make money in the sense that I came to Dubai to actually change the way I see the world. Let me explain. When you grow up in a small island town, like the Cayman Islands, it's actually an incredible place to grow up. You can make a shitload of money if you work hard and hustle. It's that simple. However, it is small. You, you sort of get the mentality, and I'm talking to you, all of my Caymanian friends as well. You sort of get trapped into, this is as good as it gets, no other place is as amazing as this, everybody's trying to come here, no one's trying to leave. Well, I left, and a lot of Caymanians are actually leaving, because we sort of get that sense that there is more to it than this, and that was what drove me to actually leave. So I've been off island now for over 10 years, and this is the first trip for me actually as an expat. Maybe I might move to another country because we're actually looking for adventures at this point in our lives, not necessarily just sort of stability. Well, me and my wife will have slightly different opinions. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I'm trying to get, let's get back on point. Let's get back on point. Let's talk about cost, cost of living, and actual spending. So Dubai is notorious, absolutely notorious, for having the best of everything that you can imagine. You want a gold-plated gold hamburger? You can get it in Dubai, guaranteed. Okay, gold plated everything, cars, gold, everything. The one beautiful thing about this country is that you could live as extreme as you wish and as humble as you wish. There is a middle ground that most people fall into. However, a lot of people get caught in the trappings of luxury. Let me try to explain it in this perspective. Every ad that comes out make you feel that if you don't have the best of this, you are not worthy. You're not anything. You need to have, you, you need to have that Porsche. You need to, ha to have that, that, that Ferrari. Your kids need to be driving in the limousines. A kid, come on, are you kidding me? And then all of a sudden they worry why they're broke. So this particular um, podcast that we're going to be talking about today is also going to be focusing on how to live humble, but actually quite well off. For example, where you shop, where you get your nails done, where you get your hair done, where you buy your clothes. Sure, you can live in a nice area, but you don't have to shop at the most expensive places. And in this, in this particular episode, I'm going to give you an example of where I get my hair done. Now, on average, men, if you're groomed, if you like taking care of yourself, we get our hair cut, well, for me, every 9 to 12 days. 
12th, I push it. But every nine days is usually the time period that I get my hair done. Now, I live in a pretty nice neighborhood. Pay a lot of money to live here. Too much. But my wife loves it. Kids love it. It's close to all the schools. It's close to everything. However, if I go down the street, literally if, if I walk within my community, I can get my hair cut. I'll give it an equivalent of dollars, just so that we can all understand. I can get my hair cut for $75. However, if I drive 10 minutes away from where I live, I can get the same identical haircut in a less beautiful surrounding for $15. Yes, $15. Okay, now I usually get my hair colored, I get groomed, I get shaved. If I get the whole works done on this, this it will cost me $200. I can get the same thing done for $45, identical. Now, think about that and imagine that. But remember, I do this every nine days. Every nine days. So now multiply that over one year and then calculate the difference in costs times, what, 365 days of math, uh, Let's do the math. I'm freaking horrible at math. There, that's it. Look at it below. That's the amount of money that I save every year just by doing that one simple exercise. And of course, I try to do it with groceries. I try to do it with clothing. I try to do it with every single thing. So at the end of the year, you're literally just walking away with money in your pocket. Otherwise, you will go horribly broke here in Dubai. Okay, so... This is just one of my little tips, for, especially for my friends here in Dubai. Try to stop living like the Joneses. It just doesn't make sense. Who gives a shit? Who cares where you shop? No one. As long as you look good, you smell good. Simple. Okay? I want you guys to learn this one simple acronym. 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 Right. People suffer from FOPO, F-O-P-O. -O. It's a big problem here in the Middle East and Asian countries, okay? FOPO, fear of other people's opinion. This is it. You guys got to stop that. Stop living for other people's opinion. If if you're my age, in your early 50s, 40s, 50s, you should get over this shit. Because all it is, is that you're saying, I'm not living within the confines of not my comfort or my mental state. I'm making other people judge me. And they don't even care for that long. Most people will look at you and go, huh, no brand name shoes. <laughs> what is wrong? It's not Nike. Oh, it's not a Porsche. And then tomorrow, they have some other shit to talk about. Get over yourselves. Come on, guys. Be wise. You're at that age now where you need to be careful about your spending. Because I can almost guarantee you, the economy has been going good for almost 10 years all over. And now, we're going to hit a hitch. We're going to hit a slide. I can almost smell it come in. Yeah, yes, I can smell an economic downturn coming. And if you're not cash rich when this happens, you're going to be in a load of poo-poo. A load of poo-poo. So my friends, buckle up. Get it together. Stop suffering from FOPO. Hold that word, spread it. That's my word. FOPO. Okay? Get it together. Save every single dime that you can right now. Okay? Okay, cool. So listen, I'm going to wrap it up there. You like what you just heard? Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Oh, before I go, 
I'm going to start bringing guests on with me. Next subject we're going to be talking about is back pain. Ah, yes, I've been suffering from back pain. It wasn't something that just came up. I was trying to show my 12-year-old daughter that daddy can still do handstands. Yeah. And then I came down wrong in a twisted motion. Boom. Twisted. Hurt my back. Suffered with it for over six months before I actually got brave enough to go to a specialist. Didn't really help that much, but then I discovered something, something amazing. And within one week, no back pain, strong as an ox. So look forward to that next episode coming up if you have or if you suffer from back pain. Cool. Okay. See you in the next video. Cheers.